From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler, Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips says Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The search is on for more long forgotten graves in the city of Tampa. A crew from USF is now scanning the ground near 30th Street and Sly Avenue near Robles Cemetery. That's one. They want to see if any burials extend beyond the visible ones at the cemetery there to empty land next door. Over the last few months, scans have revealed hundreds of lost African American graves across the city of Tampa, including the forgotten Zion Cemetery and on the property of King High School. Tampa police just cited a bus driver after this crash between a charter bus and a Tico streetcar in downtown Tampa on Monday. The driver of the streetcar ended up in the hospital. Witnesses say the charter bus driver made a left on a channel side drive while a no turn on left sign was flashing. The impact pushed the streetcar nearly off the track. Right now, President Donald Trump prepares to give his annual State of the Union address Tuesday night. Officials say the president's remarks will, quote, lay out a vision of relentless optimism, focusing on issues impacting America's working families. It will also be the first time he and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be in the same room in months as the Senate impeachment trial wraps up. You can watch the State of the Union Tuesday night or air it at 9 p.m. right here on your ABC Action News station and our streaming news channel as well, which is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV and Apple TV. In other news, the I team is taking a look at a new safety app frustrating local school leaders in the wake of Parkland. The app known as Fortify Florida lets students anonymously alert schools and law enforcement to suspicious campus activity in Hillsborough County. It's generated nearly 200 tips, but tonight at 11, I team investigator Katie Legrone explains how the app is fueling campus frustrations and the new push to make bogus tips a crime. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with the forecast. Dennis. Hey, James, it's going to be a cool start to your Tuesday. Not as cool as we had on Monday morning with temperatures come wake up time, 40s and 50s. And then we look for a pretty significant warm up well into the 70s, if not the lower 80s inland on Wednesday and Thursday before rain arrives for the opening of the Florida State Fair. Once the rain clears out, I think the weekend forecast is cooling off, but sunny. Thank you, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.